Contrary to popular belief, the biggest snook are not caught during the summer months that they spawn. They're actually caught during the winter months when the water is cold. Colder than you would think. I'm talking about 60 degree water temperatures where snook are lethargic and hunkered down. How do I know? Because year after year, my biggest snook come during the coldest nights. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh. Am I anchored? Oh my god, I'm on. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm on. Really? Yep. Yeah. It's big too. It's really big. Oh my god. They're massive monsters. Oh my god. Peter, bro. What are you trying to do? It's a magnet. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of A Ben's Fishing. Guess what? We are finally back on the Mako. I was without a boat for the longest I've ever been without a boat, I feel like. It was like three weeks, but we got this fresh new polling platform right here. Let me stand on it to show you the other addition. You see up there, we got Ryan S. Fishing. What is up, guys? And we have a Garmin cracking trolling motor. This new Garmin trolling motor is insane, guys. I've had Minn Kotas for years. Nothing against Minn Kota, but the Garmin product is superior in every way. I've been testing it for the last two days. It's been insane. I'm super stoked on it. We're going to be fishing for the, like the next three days, Ryan and I, but we're going to be fishing the river hard. It is sunset. We have some mullet and we're going to start off tonight with a short trip on what feels like a new rig. So if you guys are into some giant wintertime river snook, that is the mission for the next few days. Come along on this journey as we catch some massive river monsters. All right, I'm going to shut up, stop talking, get some baits in the water. All right, y'all, so we are at our, not our first seawall, that's for dang sure. I don't know how much of this you guys are gonna see. I'm always real with you guys though when I tell you, like, man, how long have we been at it? Three hours, yeah, two hours? a long day. Grinded hard for fish, you know, Ryan has, uh, Ryan caught a redfish on the artificial, and yeah, we're gonna pitch some mullet up on the wall, see what we can get going here. All right, so look at this mullet here, guys. We got all shapes and sizes, but I'm gonna use one of these nice, like, seven, eight inch, silver mullet i'm using my florida gt oh my god i almost just died <laughs> this right here just almost took a bends out i'm using my florida gt eight foot custom rod by steve at north fork bait and tackle this is like a 30 to 60 blank and then this is my twin power small twin power ak beyond braid and yeah dude we couldn't have been blessed with a more beautiful evening it was so cloudy all day and the sun has popped out we have like a nice hour or two to make it happen for the rest of the evening let's see what we can get into There was just, did you see the snooky over there while that happened? Is that an otter? I've been seeing those, man. It is an otter or a manatee. Can you shut the live wall off? Bro, I couldn't get a better cast. Dude, I don't know if I just got picked up or he just freaked out or what. I was really slack. I'm off. Are you? Yep. 
It's a freaking giant, dude. Oh. It's a giant. I knew I got freaking picked up. Oh. oh my god, it's so big. Oh my god. Just keep your head down. Am I anchored? You want to grab her for me? Oh yeah. She's huge. Oh. Oh, that was so close. She's hooked perfect. Not the 40 we're after, but pretty damn close. Oh, yeah, that's a good chance, man. Woo! Okay. Oh yeah. Guys, look at that, man. That is a stud wintertime snook right there. How big do you think this thing is? Like 37, 36? Uh, 36. Fat yeah, it's, 36. It's not that long. It's not that long. It might even be 35. But dude, is it fat? I mean, that's a freaking chunky snook. I hope the camera. Oh, it does. Doing Trust her me. justice. It's a beautiful fish. Bring Absolute her down a little stud. bit. Oh yeah, let's, let's put her back, dude. I got epic shots here. All right, all Sorry. right, guys. We're gonna release her because these fish fight hard in the winter. Going. Nice, dude. We got her in pretty quick. So that was good. She's not my fun. best release. She messed up my hand, so that she's good. She's good to go. Yeah. Nice. Let's get some more. Over there. We should go to that. I was just thinking to myself how that side was always covered by the jet ski docks, and now it's not, and like I want to hit it. I haven't fished here since they removed the massive floating docks. But we can go too. We we still have time. Bro, we can't oh, cast. Boy. That was such a perfect cast. Oh my god, I'm on. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. No. no. You lost it? Yeah. I had it out. Did you see that? That was like instant. I had him out. Right though. That thing was so big, bro. Oh no, that's pretty bad. Is it? Yeah. I'm gonna put a fresh one on. Cause we got like 10 minutes left. Ambient light. I just put a one because I don't know how many fish there are, but... I found one. No, no, good, good. That fish will not have to fall off in here. Uh, we have plenty left, bro. Plenty. Come on. Really? Yep. It's big too. It's really big. Oh, it's not really big. But... I cast it and it thumped it instantly. Come here, come here, come here. Oh gosh. Are you really? I'm bottom. What? Yeah. Or a massive bull shark. Good fish. Good fish. Really nice. Head first dive. After we caught that fish, we headed back home because we lost our daylight. This was really just a highlight. We were actually out there for over six hours and we couldn't buy a bite. We hit countless seawalls and countless docks, dropped countless mullet and took countless casts with spooks and nothing was chasing our bait. And that is the grind of wintertime snook fishing. 
The next day, we saddled up, put the boat in the water, and had even more time. We had to work our tails off to get some live bait, but this video exemplifies what wintertime snook fishing is all about. It's not like the summers where you're going to catch dozens of snook. You're going to be chasing one giant fish, but it could be the biggest fish of your entire life. What is up y'all? It is day two guys and I am back out here. Ryan is is behind the camera. We are doing the same thing. Like I said, him and I already planned this for a while. We've been talking about this for weeks. We saw the front coming and we were like, dude, as soon as that front hits, we're going to do three days of hardcore wintertime snook fishing. So we're going to get after it today and we're going to try and get some giants. Mullet was so hard and there's an old saying in fishing, when the bait is hard to get, the fishing is good. So it was very hard to get. And so because of that, I think when they see it in their face, they're going to eat it. It's that time of year where these fish are hunkered down. Water temperatures are between 65 and 67 degrees. So these fish are lazy. They're not moving much. They try to stay in place to keep warm. And it can be very hard to target them with anything but live bait. Yeah, you could do it with the top water, but we're fishing one to two feet of water. It's pretty tough conditions. And I want to see some giant snook eat some giant mullet. I'm out here searching for megas. I don't care about the little fish. I don't want anything under slot. I just want or I don't even want a slot. I want over slots only. So let's see what we can do. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do so. Let's go. Alrighty, y'all. Here we go. First spot, first bait. So check out what we got. This is a Primo Silver Mullet. Today we're using the big guns. We got my custom made Florida GT rod in partnership with Steve, North Fork Bait and Tackle. This is an eight foot 30 to 60 blank. It's super flexible, super heavy duty guides. I mean, literally, for us to build these rods, it costs three hundred dollars. I sell them. My saltiga just broke. No way. Yep. Ryan's saying his saltiga just broke. That's a one thousand dollar reel. We're out here with Ryan. He's up at the front. We got the twin power. Yeah, that saltiga. I think it's more now, isn't it? More than a thousand bucks. Well, all I know is drag is not working at all, bro. It's probably just one thing. This is bad luck today, dude. Don't say that. Huh. It's it's like there's no drag. No, bro, look at this. This is a long drag right here. Take it apart? I, bro, I barely caught anything on this, dude. If I get eight, I'm fine, bro. I'm just gonna, you know, palm it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Why Brian happen, Brian and I, you guys see all the pretty stuff on uh, on the internet, but man, I'm not gonna lie. It has been a tough day. Like, it took us two hours to get bait. It was super messy getting the bait. The net got tangled with the prop because I had to throw off the platform and use my side scan. Oh my gosh, giant fish. I had to throw off the platform and use my side scan to catch them. Um, after we got the bait, this boat has a scup right here under my right foot. You guys can see that? The scup got clogged with sticks because I was catching, you know, bait in the freaking mud. And then, is there a, Oh my god, look at the marks. I want you to know what mullet looked like on the scan. Come here. I want you to be able to see so that you can see what I'm always looking for. Look how evident it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then look to the right. They're all to the right too. There was a snook under it? Yeah, it's all snook. So he just saw a ton of mullet under us. I've been showing Ryan what it looks like on side scan. I can try to zoom in, but you guys probably can't see. But anyway, so what? The neck got caught in the prop. The scup got got clogged. My own fault. All this mud. His saltiga broke. What else happened? Didn't something else happen? We almost sank. We almost sank. Yeah, it's been tough, man. But you know what they say? When things like that happen, the world is setting you up for something good. And hopefully that good is an absolutely mega snook. The line for the day, I'm using the 60-pound Beyond Braid. And I have actually a 40 pound test fluorocarbon leader. I have about tw 12 feet of leader though. I can't believe that actually broke. I'm telling you, it's, pro off. it's probably just the pin. All right guys, I'm here to update you and let you know that today has been abysmal. All that negativity that we were telling you about has just continued into the day. We have seen not a single fish blow up. We have had not a single fish follow and we have been fishing for over four hours. The water is cold. It's only gotten colder, which is weird because the air temp rose from what it was yesterday. Yesterday it was about 55 to 65. Today was about 60 to 70. And the water just got colder, probably because we had no sunlight. So the water right here right now is 63 degrees, guys. That's getting like close to scary. You know, if you get water below 60, really below 55 for more than like three to five days, fish will start dying in Florida. 
snook are really susceptible like bigger snook smaller snook the the slot size middle size ones are pretty resilient but yeah it, it's not good and it's not like you know we have anything too too special besides like some minor fronts but the air we've had a pretty cold winter already in florida for us i know you nor'easters are laughing but like we typically have on a normal winter 60 to 80 degree days 60 is the low 80 is the high for the last like three weeks we've been teeter-tottering between like 50 degree lows 55 degree lows and like 70 and 75 degree highs so that's a lot colder that's 10 degrees colder than we normally get and then when we're getting these fronts it's dropping to 44 45 and it's pretty early in the winter i mean january december so we still have a long time to go and as far as like the last five years this is the coldest gloomiest winter i can remember in florida we're rarely getting sunlight and so a lot of these fish even if the air temps have been similar so like if it's been like i don't know 50 to 70 in previous winters you'll get a lot more sunlight than this overcast sky that we've been getting and that sunlight allows you better opportunity to fish in the winter because the fish will go to shallow water areas so that they can get into that warm warm sunlight whereas we're not getting that that much these fish are just freaking hiding so it's tough Tough love. Hopefully I check back in when I get on a freaking fish. Dude, come on, eat. Wow, they're everywhere. Now. And they're moving. They're not stationary. They're hunting. All right, guys, update for you. Ryan and I have been side scanning some megas. Ryan, how big was that snook? I thought it was a tarpon or a shark. It was so big. The mark was, I mean, it's its it massive. Crazy. We've seen a lot of other snook that are all like probably, I'm pretty good with side scan now. And when you get a clear image, like when you're stationary and you see them, you kind of get an idea how big they are. All the snook we've seen are over slots, but there was one mark that we saw that was like. It was like ridiculous. It was almost comical, bro. That's how the one. That yeah, was. that's, and it was, how clear was that picture? Oh, it was crazy. It was insane resolution, like the shape of it, 100% of snook. So we're hoping they turn on, man. Like the sun is literally setting. So if they were going to turn on, it would be right now in the next 15 Dude, minutes. Those. those are all mullet. Are those mullet? Yeah, cruising the shoreline. So hopefully we tune back in with that mega. Not often you get skunk, bro. Mullet well, doesn't want to be in the mangroves. Bro, they're here. Oh, yeah, Every time I look back, there's a new mark. All the way to the right, that big black mark. I'm on. I might be. Oh my god. Got it. Got it. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out Another massive oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna need your help, bro. Oh my god, 40. I'm gonna need your help. I got you, I got you, dude. Don't worry. Go green. Oh my god! That's the winter time snap we were looking for! Oh my god! 40 pound leader, bro. 40 pound leader. It's a mega. It's a mega. Oh man, my heart is at like 400. All right, she's gonna be done after this run. Guys, this is such a beast. Sorry for the radio silence. We need this fish, man. Okay. Jiu Jitsu Ryan. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I don't have a freaking deck. Oh the hook came out. Oh Put it inside the deck. Put it inside the deck. Oh my god. Oh my god, the, guys, I don't have a tape oh on this god. new boat. That's that might be 45, bro. It's such a giant fish. That thing is so big. Does your camera have flash? No, but I do have a light. Guys, look at the size of this fish. Back up a little. Oh no, it's good. Trust me, bro. Oh god, dude. It's it's huge, like well over 40. Don't have a tape on this boat. That's like 44. Yeah, it's for very sure. Large, I'd say 44 inches. I mean such a giant fish, yeah, bro. Yeah, let's look at this thing. Can you get one shot from a little further back and I'm gonna let her go. Yeah, you're good, trust me, bro. All right. Guys, this, I can't emphasize, this is what we have been after, guys. This is the wintertime snook 
that I was talking about. 63 degrees Fahrenheit water temperature and this freaking animal just smoked that mullet. Send her back, out. dude. Oh my God, dude, she's so big. Like, look at this thing's mouth. Like, a freaking bucket mouth. Here we go. She's freaking going in. What a giant. Oh goodness, dude. Not ready yet. What a beast. She's off. Wow, bro. What a beast. Congratulations, man. Dude. Wow. If that doesn't make you subscribe. I've said this before. I got nothing for you guys. Holy smokes, I got nothing for you. A-Benz, signing out.